Hello everyone, it's Haller again. I'm back to bring you the Let's Play Empire. Uh, it's been a few weeks since I recorded the last video. Um, with everything that was going around the world, uh, things took a little bit more priorities over streaming. Anyways, um, if you remember how we ended in the last episode, we were in the process of crushing the rebels. Uh, we took two cities from them. We took Grunberg and we just took uh, Uberstreek from them and the reason why we're not going to be upgrading the building Altadorf is because I'm building one right here so I could demolish this one. Uh, the reason being is because it's my capital I try to only build buildings that can you know go to tier 4 or 5 and with this one it stops at tier 3 so I feel like it's it's kind of a waste. Um, with Uber Shriek, uh when it levels up I'm also going to be trying to build a special building. If you remember I'm kind of yeah, rebuilding my army before I push because this is a fort and uh, it's going to have walls and 12 people and it's going to be kind of significant so next turn I'll have three units uh, three additional units and then I might merge a couple swordsmen because you know uh, I might merge and then do another recruiting round I'm not sure yet uh, I just stole armor and that you know gives me some more melee resistance and melee defense um, so with that, I'm going to go ahead and end my turn because I kind of had finished my turn right before I'd ended my recording last time. So as always, going to try to speed through this. Uh, I'm expecting the rebels to try to recruit an army. I'm assuming they're going to do it here, but I mean, they could do it where I'm trying to go, which is the Fort Helmgert. Alright, let's see, what do they want? Non-aggression? Normally I'm okay with non-aggression, but with the goblins, if you're friendly with them, people tend to not like you, and those people would be humans and dwarves, um, so I'm just gonna ignore them. Who knows, when I'm done with this, that could be a, a free war. I can take it over, although I probably won't. I'll probably just sack it and then raise it, and let the dwarves take it over. Okay, so I destroyed that building. So... Wait, I thought I was destroying it. Oh, I think it, I was doing it the other way around because I wanted to build the special building, which, funny, I can't because I have to be tech 2 on it. Well, that's awkward. I guess I did it the wrong way. You can go ahead and do it like that, and then I'll destroy this next round. Alright, so... They did raise the army over here, so I don't, I'm not too worried. I think I can go down here and auto-resolve, and I'll probably lose a unit or two. So, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll combine my two lowest units. Or, I guess we can do the three and make two yes. full units. Alright, so that's one weak unit right there just fine. Um, this is also going to save me money um, on the overall cost. See, I could probably combine those two units as well, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine these three weakest units. Alright, the there we go. So we got some pretty full units. Um, so we'll have less chance to lose them if we auto-resolve. So I come down here see how the fort battle... It looks like uh, they would win it. Um, so, wait, do they not have walls? I guess they don't have walls right now. I guess uh, they never upgraded their fort. So if that's the case, then we're just going to go ahead and fight it. Um, they do have mortars, which can be scary, but luckily I start with one unit of cavalry. They're shock heavy cavalry, which means they're not the fastest, but I'll have to make do. Uh, so right now what I'm worried about is them keeping their spearmen back to protect their mortars. But if they do that, their front lines can be weakened, so I should be able to flank them. They do have a great swordsman, which are amazing. They will wreck everything I have, essentially. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to have uh, my Emperor call friends duel their general. And I should be able to beat him because my guy's a duelist and their general is just going to be a normal armor and shield guy. Meanwhile, I'm going to have my cavalry trying to flank. Oh no, they do have walls. What was I thinking? It didn't give me the option to build anything, so this is this is a little confusing. I only have two ranged units, and they have a lot of ranged units. Hmm, I wonder why it didn't give me the option to build siege equipment. 
That must have been a glitch. That's going to make this significantly harder for me. Um, I almost wish I could reload, but you know, I, I don't want to do that. So I guess I'm just going to try to make a plan to scale all the walls. So, yeah, I'm just going to try to scale them. Start battle. I'm going to pause it real quick. Okay, I see one unit right here. I don't really see their... It seems like it's glitching out a little bit. But it looks like I can't have units try to break down walls. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to have my halberdiers break down the gatehouse. I'll have these three units, you know, scale over there. Those two units, scale right there. Have the unit scale right there. Then I'll have you come right here. Horsemen come right here as well. Same call friends right there. I'm gonna hit play. Make everyone run. They don't need to run. Bring my missiles up here so I can try to shoot. This is gonna be a bloody battle since I don't have a battling ram. Or siege towers. Artillery's in the back. I don't have any flying units. Yeah, I think it was just glitching out. It made me think they didn't have walls when they really did. Their general's behind the wall. The great swords are right there, so I'm gonna have my general climb the wall then. So he can fight the great swordsman for now. I should be able to get up on the side walls and it's just going to be essentially a battle on the walls. They don't have any cavalry so if I can break down the walls I will have my mortar strike pretty hard. Hopefully that doesn't land right here. Kind of exactly right there. Okay everyone should be Gaining ladders. How the deer should be trying to break down this wall. Okay, they're engaged there. They're going to be engaged there. Trying to disable those guys. My cavalry is being just utterly destroyed. Okay, give a boost. up on the walls here. Just trying to disable their archers. Come on, let's see if we can push him further in. The gate, oh, I mean the gate's not, it's not bad. Okay, so gate's broken down. Ah, there's their great swordsman. I'm gonna try to send these guys on the mission of their lives. It's, I don't think they'll be able to sprint through. But we should, should try. Ready for war. Attack! Looks like they're gonna try to fall back. 
Let's see if I can make him come down from the walls, my general, that is. I'm gonna try to bring these guys in. And the reason being is I don't want them to keep getting shot. Okay, my cavalry got intercepted. Let's try to make them run through because they're gonna be getting obliterated by artillery. Okay, cool. I was able to. In the name of the twin tailed comet! They lost quite a bit. They were pretty full string. Get them! Halberdiers! Okay, yes, tying that up. Seeking enemy! We obey! Turn off skirmish mode. Halberdiers! See to it! What are you doing, boss? Come down here. Formation! Box! Okay, I'm hoping these two units will be able to finish off that one swordsman. Okay, looks like y'all aren't doing anything, so I need y'all to actually move. Okay, the reason I brought them in is they shoot from the backside, don't have to worry about any of that defense. Looks like some archers are starting to break. These two units are just going to take a beating. I need you to come down. I'm gonna boost some leadership right there. Okay, I finally got the engagement going with the mortars, so let's silence them there. Ready for war! Prepare for combat! Swordsmen! Awaiting orders! Okay, everyone should be engaged. Let's just stop. Okay, my guy's finally coming in. It's fine, just fight the great swordsman Yuri in there. Mess up with their back lines. Giant hammer just knocking people around. Nice. They're still holding strong. We are Sigma's heirs. They're pushing strong. It's okay. Fight here. It says they were fighting, but they're actually just capturing the point. That's not fun. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make you focus there, since you just broke those people. Okay, got another 70 seconds on that. Those people are starting to, you know, be finicky. About halfway done capturing that point. Okay, I don't need y'all to focus there. I need you to focus there since they're being broken. These little knot of defenders. Okay, they're not doing anything, so I'm just gonna tell them to push forward. You don't need to be in melee. Neither of you need to be in melee. Okay, you're finally starting to break, but that's okay, because you were holding up two units. I'm going to go ahead and end it, because um, all the enemies are going to die anyways. I could have gotten some more experience for specific units, but, you know, I'm just going to take the win. My halberdiers took a beating, as well as my cavalry. So those are my two best units. And they took quite the beating. As expected, it was the great swords and the mortars that did the the reaping for the enemy team. They did have one swordsman. I'm assuming that was one of the ones that was fighting my basic spearman. Probably like that guy. So with the taking of this fort, it's going to give me control of that pass and I'll be able to regulate who comes in and out, whether it's the French armies, Skaven, or Wandering Hordes, um, and it's also just going to limit the, the rebels to one last town, and I'm probably going to have to take at least one to two turns recovering 
before I take them out, so I'll stay one in the city. Then as I'm marching, I'll still be recovering units. Uh, I'm also going to spam buying more units as well, because the faster I can get the rebellion under control, the more unity I can bring to that one province, as well as um, people will start to respect me more because I'm not pitting down a rebellion, so they won't be likely to join the rebellion. Even though this is my starting scenario. Uh, I'll have to look at within the human empire uh, which factions favor me and which ones don't. Um, I'm also been trying to keep money uh, back so that I can make sure if they need any support I can spend the bare minimum of like the 2,000 gold to send them support. I haven't quite gotten to a thousand prestige yet so I couldn't do that uh, way of supporting them. But this is good. Um, racking up some experience. Yeah, I don't think you, yeah, you don't get any money, so I'm not there's no point in taxing the province. I command here. So let's see here for our buddies here, it would take them four turns to completely replenish. Take them two. We're gonna stay here for at least one turn. Uh, I guess that it's do global recruitment, so it's just straight healing for this turn. Let's go ahead and open up my skill chart. Okay, we can get a war horse now. I typically don't care about mounting him on normal war horses. I typically like getting him on the higher ones, uh, like the Pegasus and Deathclaw. Uh, so I think I'm going to ignore the war horse for now. Uh, there should be, here we go, since, you know, we're struggling to replenish things. Actually, let me reset that, because I want to get Foe Striker. Um, let's get 100 armor. Yeah, let's get a, do that. Here we go. Now he'll build up be a better individual fighter. I would have liked to have gotten the replenishment one better, but it's okay. So in one turn that should be done. Uh, it's so annoying I had it backwards. So I encountered some more people. I can try to do some more diplomacy. Let's go with attitudes. My glacial majesty, Katarina. Okay, we got some trade going there. Yes. Can probably try to get a non aggression with them. Approach and make your offer. No, maybe in a couple turns they'll like us to do that. So now we got some more trading going. Did I just sign a non aggression with them? I don't think I did. So let me look for Monfort real quick specifically. Uh, hmm. I didn't see them here. Parvin. That's probably why I didn't see Montfort. I'm looking for Parvin. Right here. Let's see if we can get a non aggression going with them. Good. I don't need to dive into their territory quite yet. So What's the improving I don't want to directly war with people, I wanna confederate them. Plus, I'm still at war here, so let's go with non-aggression. Okay, they rejected me, because they're just bullies. The Empire. I'll try one more person. Okay, let's see here, what is it saying we need to do? Oh, set. Of course, let's let's go ahead and go. Yeah, let's go public order since they're at zero. Let's boost them up. Or actually, so it looks like the scheme and corruption's coming here. Yeah, I'll just stay with public order. 
Let's go ahead and end this turn. Undercity discovered altar. That's not good. I don't feel like fighting the Skaven just quite yet. Okay, so they need military access. They're willing to give us 600 gold. They're very friendly with us. Sure. I'll probably need to march to their territory at some point anyways. Have they been someone that we're on unfriendly terms with? I definitely would not have taken that route. Okay, I prefer Inimitations. So essentially, he invited, invited me to a feast. I had a minor uprising. Uh, I went to go put it down. I didn't need to be there. Uh, but it's something that my guy likes to do personally, so the guy that invited me to the feast was upset. So now I gotta figure out a way to make him less angry. So I can either give him straight money, or I can do prestige. Prestige is harder to come by, so I'm gonna give him money. If I do nothing, he'll dislike me, but he's, he's one of the people that are closest to joining me. So I'm just gonna give him the money. It's okay. Uh, alright. I need to start marching. Looks like they're trying to build two armies at once. Impossible. So I got one with four, I one with not. one, and six people there. So I don't want to leave them unchecked for too long. I'm trying to figure out, remember how I'm supposed to get rid of Skaven. Oh, here. Discovered. Undercity. Okay, so for 2,000 gold, I can get rid of it. I think it's worth it. Alright, the Undercity is destroyed. So, huzzah, that's done. Um, Ubershark, this is the place I'm talking about. I'm gonna um, upgrade that so I can build that. Now that I have this built, I can destroy this. It's gonna give me back 600 gold. Uh, I can then also upgrade my pottery, which will increase my trade. I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I just spent a bunch of money right there. Uh, my technology was, okay, public order and growth. That's fine. So I need to do another. That would have been this one right here, grain silos, so I can get more money. Um, my infantry is plus two. Recruitment cost is cheaper. Infantry... So I think what I want is I want my troops to be plus two uh, experience when they first start. Yeah, I, I think that I think that's where I'm going to go from here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So in seven turns, it's quite a long time, but it's going to be worth it in the end. Um, Bring me to my I have to keep pressing my advantage while I can. It sucks because I'm not my units aren't going to replenish as well. But I can recruit. So. I have access to a new unit. Uh, it's my only ranged unit at the moment, so I'm going to go ahead and do that as far as recruitment. They can act as kind of like light troopers, and then go like that, get two more units there. Uh, if I need to, I can stay one more turn and like merge units again. I probably won't do that. Um, so in three turns, I'll be able to get my special building here. Uh, let's see here. Is there anything else I can think of? No, I think I think that's it for right now. Um, I'm almost at a thousand prestige. Typically, when you have a thousand prestige or more, is when you can do more efficient things. I'm almost in a rush to pit down the insurrection. Uh, let's see where are the vampires going. Okay, cool. They're not coming to mess with me. I don't feel like dealing with another threat right now until I pit down my initial initial issues down. Uh, you also want to try to look at Marienburg and deal with them before they get too big and strong because what happens is later in the game they get close to the French and start allying which can be an issue. Alright so now I have quite a few building uh, <laughs> options here. Um, I can keep trying to grow faster. Let's see here, what do I want to 
build. Be nice to try to generate more money. This is currently on my border, so it's most likely to get raised. So I could try to build defenses there. I think I'm just trying to eke out a little bit more money. So I'll do that. And then for me here, I kind of need more money to build anything as cool as I want. So I guess I can upgrade this for a thousand. Let's see here. Whistland, you don't like me. Let me see if I can try to make Whistland like me. You know what? I'm gonna go safe and build defenses here. So in two turns, hopefully they don't declare war on me in two turns, but if they do, that's life. So I'm not going to upgrade this until I have more defense in place. Uh, that's fine. Yes. This stuff's being done. I can try diplomacy one more time. Let's sort by people that like me. 13. Deteriorating. Why are you deteriorating? Treaties oh, with the vampires. Okay. Parvin, you're improving. Maybe we can try to do a trade. It's low. It's rude, he didn't have to call me a muling. Okay, you're starting to improve. Maybe I can get a non-aggression. So if I do one or the other, they would possibly... Okay, so potentially I might be going to war with these people as soon as I put down this rebellion. I command here. Summon the elector counts. What does it want me to do? I already put that in place. Who calls? Oh, I guess it's trying to tell me that I can still move it. I know I can still move my army, so let's ignore that. So we're coming up to the half hour mark. I'm probably going to try to make this episode last until I get rid of the um, rebels. And I might try to keep recording and go into episode 4 from here. It, it really just depends on how we look time wise. A lot of wars being declared this turn. Migration. A great migration comes to our borders, demanding shelter from larger threats abroad. Do we let them cross into our territory or turn them away? Do nothing. Migration, if I do this, I get more growth. Recruitment costs are cheaper. Uh, five turns of people being more upset. You know what? I think I'm going to let them in. It's going to cause me some short term issues, but I think it'll help me the I'm long one. Cool more efficiently I should say um, Not do I have lightning strike let me check this Is out real time? quick no of course I don't have lightning strike that would have made this a lot easier Ready. Attack. let's go in for the fight I don't think they have walls we must attack Okay, archers, archers. Yeah, I. what I can also do is I can encircle them and force them to come to me so I can play more defensively. I think I'm gonna encircle them for a moment. That way they come out of their encampment because this gives them more defense and whatnot. Maybe I can force them to attack me that way. Okay, let's see here, what was I gonna build? Oh, I think I'm waiting until tier three to build stuff. Or I need money. Ah, I'm saving until four grand. That's what I'm doing with that building slot. So, there'll be one more turn. Let's check out the trade. 
got a few people I'm trading with, but I'm only producing pottery, so I'm not going to be making a lot of money until then. Okay, this is because of what we were just talking about. And one more turn, I get a defense bonus. Ah, I can upgrade this pass. I think that's worth it, even if it pits down my building, because people are always going to be trying to come through here, and just having a little bit more defense there is safer. Okay, let's end the turn. And I'm assuming they're going to come out and fight me. Some more war declared. Looks like it's the Red Horns just declaring up war. All the humans up north. Oh, they didn't do anything. Our, our armies consist of noble state troops, and yet they act like a horde of free company. They loot and pillage across the gun stride. Something must be done. War fever plus five. War plunder. Well, let's 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 go with punish them. Probably because our army should be better than that, and then also because Men, I will fight um, you. we're about to do a battle. Never. Okay, they didn't Our come fight us like I wanted to, wanted them to, so it was just kind of a wasted turn. Potentially they could have grown stronger, so I'm just going to do this fight. It's going to be fairly even, even though they have more troops than us. We have Carl Franz, we have Elite Calvary. So those two things will be helping us. They didn't have any mortars, so that's also positive. Um, I don't think we'll be able to crush one of their armies before the reinforcements come, but we, we can try. I know it's going to hinge a lot on our Empire Knights and Carl's friends. That's where the brunt of the pressure will be. I also need to, once this is over, try to make some army reforms so that I can start recruiting crossbowmen or handgunners, because just having those two isn't going to cut it. The pistoliers are going to take a little of that burden off, but mainly what they're going to do is they're just going to go be annoying. They don't really do too much damage unless you can get into the flanks firing into people. But since they have so much range, I think each army has two to three archers on their team. So let's see here. This is where the army is going to be, so I can imagine them sitting up on a hill and me having to charge up a hill. So that means my army's gonna wanna come like this, that way it's, I'm not fighting in the, the gully too much. The reinforcements can come there. So I could split my army. See if I come this way and come down a hill. Yeah. Maybe maybe that's what I'm gonna do. So Soldiers of the Empire! The Empire endures! Ready for war! Ready for war! Spearman! We are Sigmar's heirs! Halvadeus! I'm going to make essentially two lines here. And then have them right there. Throw my general in the middle. I made him even a better dueler and make it, made it so he tires less. I'm going to throw my cavalry on the far side. So that will be the split of my army. I'm going to make this into a group and lock it that way when I position them they won't get out of um, they won't get out of formation alright so we're going to go ahead and start it 
Subjects call. Move out. So I'm going to go like that because they're going to try to group. See what we can catch. Going to keep skirmish mode on for them. If I can force them to stop a little bit, that'd be great. Going to fast forward it. Have everyone sprinting, trying to get a little bit better positioning. They are going to build a group. I'm not going to be able to force a fight, so I'm going to slow my people down. Taking that position! On our way! Shall you protect us? Move out at speed! Okay, so I got a few decent shots off up there. Take the ground! My cameras! Okay, getting some decent shots. We have their stuff on skirmish mode. All I want to do is pressure them. Okay, so they're starting to advance on my armies. I'm gonna make them sprint so I can try to get into a better position. The Empire endures! Let's go! Moving now! Okay, sprint, get some more heal access. Okay, I'm sprint my Empire Knights, they're splitting up. A little bit bad or poorly. I'm gonna make these guys come in right here. Okay, my army should stay in place. Take skirmish mode off here because they shouldn't need to skirmish. I'm gonna extend my line right here. Move him off right there. Make everyone go in guard mode. We obey. Yes. For Helden I'm gonna extend my line right there. Marco, ready. Okay, charge my general. Oh, here's their general. I'm gonna charge that in. Doing a boost. Gonna try to flank right there. Okay, we routed that army. Yes, General. Moving now. I'm gonna make them go into melee mode real quick, because they're pretty weak right there. Okay, I'm gonna use this army to try to flank. I did boost right there. Are you tired? No, you're you're active. Trying to engage even more people right there. Okay, send the line there, get a flank off there. Reinforce right there, go ahead and reinforce right there. Get the flank going off right there. Okay, that army is completely toast right there. Okay, I think I'm just going to push forward and try to get to their general. Try to pincer right there. Okay, I think he's trying to chase our cavalry down. That's what's going on there. This hill's working out fairly well for me. Okay, Emperor Knights. Let's go ahead and try to break their last formation. Okay, 
No, no, no. I want you chasing there. Sorry, I meant grab these guys. Turn skirmish mode back on. I'm gonna have them put some pressure there. Maybe I'll force them to unrally. Alright, Carl Franz is fighting their last leader that hasn't run. My guy's a duelist. He is not. He's got two hammers against one hammer. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna change fire to right there. I did try to get a flank off. Now my flankers have been flanked. What an ironic turn of events. However, I can move my sensor out. Okay, they've used all their ammunition, so I'm just going to have them chase right there. Okay. Let's just roll them up. I don't need to chase them down unless I want to try to get more experience from a unit. Um, I can check out to see how I've been doing. So even though I said the pistolers weren't as good, I was able to get those flank actions off like I was talking about. So it did fairly well. Um, my cavalry did carry the day. They misplayed with their uh, ranged units. And I just had my higher ground advantage. My crossbowmen did well. My handgunners, not really, because it wasn't really the type of ground for them. And I was able to use my emperor to duel their two different people. So those few effects is kind of like what was able to put my army over the top. Um, but yeah, because I think when we do the math, like 600 plus 600, that's 1200, plus 300, that's 1500, and then 1660, 30, that's like 160. So, you know, like, our armies were fairly evenly matched, even though they are broken up into three points for them. They did con consolidate their army, so it wasn't like I was fighting three individual pieces. The cavalry played a big part. Had they had cavalry, this would have been even more difficult. So now I'll be able to claim this territory, unite my heartland. Um, and then we'll see if the people to my east are going to be upset, uh, or if I need to go to war with Marienburg. Uh, the difficult thing is, I feel like as soon as you declare war against Marienburg, at least in Total War, Warhammer 1, uh, the people in your east get feisty and decide to fight you. I can also see if I can go pick on the goblins since there are only one settlement and it's right next to the people that you know I'm worried about declaring war on me. Um, I might try to do that but because it, it'll take like three turns to move from the west of my province all the way to the like southeast. So we're running around 45 minutes so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna after I load in and take over the territory, uh, I'm going to put in like a, a segment break where it's like, alright, this is part three. And I'll go ahead and record part four since I didn't post anything last week. I'll just have this ready so that you get two videos and uh, one week again. Uh, part three being we got rid of the rebels and part four just managing my empire potentially launching war against the goblins, or launching war against Marienburg, or being declared war on by one of my vassals, or potential vassals. And that will be part three and part four. So, um, that'll probably be, you know, roughly like 90 minutes of videos that y'all get. It has armor. Occupy. Oh, did one of their armies survive? That's awkward, because it's got to be minute. Impossible. Yeah, it's four people. It's slowly dying. I am Prince Let's go ahead and level up. Yeah, level seven, we get a horse with armor. Uh, let's go ahead and get lightning strike, since that would have made that battle even better. Uh, let's go ahead and make it so I replenish faster. Oh, looks this. I got hold the line, passive ability. 
I'll take that. Buffs everyone. So, alright. It's pretty solid for a level up. Okay, so I can also level up this territory right here. Uber Shriek just leveled up, so let's go ahead and get that tavern I was talking about. So this is going to give me public order. It's going to work on uh, making sure Skaven and all that aren't a factor. It's going to give me a garrison um, of an elf, um, a dwarf, an empire captain, and a witch hunter uh, from the game. Oh, I can't believe I just forgot the game, what it's called. Um, but it's also a Warhammer um, universe. Can't think of it right now. But we're gonna go ahead and build the the inn. Um, also, want to level up here so I get access to my crossbowmen. So that's another two thousand down. So we're gonna have to hold off for the upgrade for um, Allenheart. Gonna have to hold off for an upgrade for getting Empire Knights because um, we're gonna be pretty strapped Someone for cash right now. Um, I could disband some units to try to save some money. But, you know, I'm not that desperate for cash. So I can't chase them out since I just took the territory. But now I can issue a proclamation. I can get public order. Yeah, the taint's not terrible here right now. So I'm going to go ahead and do public order for the most part. Yeah, that's, that's the best thing. Get everyone nice and happy. So that's done. We saw those building constructed. Level 2. So my trade should have gone up. And uh, my east should be a little bit more secure right here. Let's see here. I think I do. Yeah, so what I'll do for part four is I'll try to do my quest. So let me see what the enemy force is. Uh, they will get reinforcements. That's not bad though. And then Beast Slayer. What is this? Oh, I need a trade agreement with them. So yeah, next next episode I will try to complete a quest maybe we'll be at war with them because you know they don't like me maybe I'll come over and mess with the goblins because they only have the one territory which will help out the dwarves I think the dwarves are at war with them so I can offer to join them yeah. and they'll like me more or I potentially go to war uh, to conquer the wasteland I am now that that's over I'm just gonna see if Northland would want to trade with me no. Proving Who calls? Uh, we'll wait until next turn. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and put a break in right here. And that's going to be the end of this part of the episode.